Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. What's up, guys? Fantoid here with the dynamic duo. <laughs> <laughs> just, say, just say the triple threat. The triple making threat. Us the triple the threat. Making us the triple threat. Featuring uh, dead weight. Yeah, I got sure. some guests Bubble. here. <laughs> <laughs> got some guests here tonight. Uh, they wanted to be in the video, so I was like, fuck it, might as well. Uh, this is going to be a UFC 200 video. i uh, make some prediction videos. They're going to give us some inside. Uh, she's going to be the ditzy fangirl. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> this is funny because like, this is like the second time making this video, right, Mark? Yeah. The first time we pretty much did a whole video of us making predictions and, and we didn't realize the camera died. Yeah, halfway. the camera died. <laughs> so <laughs> it was pretty, like, I didn't know that. we thought it was a good video and when it stopped, we were like, oh man. Yeah. Fuck. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're so stupid. We were talking to a blank camera and it died like three minutes in. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah it was bad. It was, it was horrible. It was like, oh, all that work. So, and. That was actually that was actually supposed to be my second video for this uh, channel, but now it's getting pushed back to like my thirteenth video. Yeah, that's <laughs> so why I got pushed delayed, back. Right? Yeah. yeah, it got delayed. He got sick. Mm -hmm. Other things happened. So mm -hmm. we're finally making a video a couple days out before UFC two hundred. Um, stoked for that card. Probably the most stacked card ever. I don't think there's ever been a card more stacked than this one. Everyone's important, even the prelims, right? Right. Right. I agree with right. That. <laughs> yeah, I just I concur. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh we're gonna do the we're just gonna do the main card. The fur uh I might do a prelim review, maybe just by myself or with the dynamic duo. <laughs> 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 Alright, then yeah. Alright, first match is Cain Velasquez versus Travis Hoppa Pwam. I'm going for Cain all the way. I don't know about you guys. Well, you're kind of right. <laughs> <laughs> you well, here's the thing. Are we going to see the cane of old? Yeah, I'm going to say the same thing I said in the last video. If they're not fighting in Mexico, <laughs> then Kane wins. In other words, if Kane doesn't do it. We got sea level Kane yeah. this time. Sea level Kane. Sea level Kane, right? But yeah. yeah. Not high mean, elevation Kane where he pretty much gasses in the first round. Also. Basically, that means if he does everything right with regards to preparation, then Kane should win. Unless there's a flash yeah. KO, which Travis is capable of. As far as who, I think, uh, okay, let's, as far as style, styles go, wrestling, you gotta give it to Kane. He's got the all-American background for wrestling from Arizona State. Mm -hmm. uh, Travis Brown, he has some good takedown defense, but we saw Travis struggling with defending the takedowns against Fabricio Verdun oh, when God. they fought. And Fabricio took him down over and over. So Kane should be able to take him down and impose his will. And another thing is that Travis... His jiu-jitsu game is, it's solid. Everyone has to have a solid jiu-jitsu game, but it's nowhere near the level of Fabricio Verdun's jiu-jitsu game. So that that immediately falls into Kane's strength of taking someone down, grinding pounding them, grinding them out. So ground game, I'm giving it to Kane. Stand-up? Who do you got for stand-up? Kane. Well, come on, give some. Yeah, I mean, I'm he's for got kicks. a very, uh, as far as kicks, very methodical him. way of, uh, of punching that Kane has, but... Not any heavyweight has, so uh, personally, I think Travis Brown just can't match up to that. It can't match up to the methodical combos that Cain Velasquez possesses. Yeah. So, so yeah. Sounds about right to me. Yeah. I think I'll give Travis Brown. I'll give him the edge in kicking. He's got some crazy that front kick mm -hmm. he did to over him when he knocked him out. But Cain has such a fluidity when his in his boxing. A good jab, I mean. And there's also the case with Cain of him getting knocked out. You know, he's been hit before. But that's the only way he can be Kane. And we'll have to see how Kane can hold up with all those injuries he's had. He's had injuries in his shoulder. That's a good point. His knee, mm -hmm. his back, surgery everywhere. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see the old Kane like in 2013? Where he had all his... <laughs> <laughs> well, the, where he had good cardio, great cardio. Or are we going to see him where he might tire out? You know, we're, we're all talking about the elevation, but hopefully that actually was the case and he doesn't get tired in Vegas. The fireworks? Yeah, know. fireworks are still going on, 4th of, of July. 5th of July. July. Yeah, no, it's the 5th of July. Fireworks are still going on. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> nothing. Quiet. <laughs> so, or if he gets tired in, if Kane gets tired in Vegas, then 
He might be done. He if just he gets has to train properly also. Well, he does, but it's also the preparation. Hopefully he doesn't be an idiot. So, yeah. Kayla, give the prediction. My prediction he is... He doesn't come off as an idiot to me, so... He does? Yeah, he doesn't. He so, doesn't? You know, I think the Mex the incident in Mexico was just, you know, a one-time thing. You know? Yeah, he just didn't really hopefully. train properly. Yeah, but he looks like a genuinely smart guy. So I think preparation-wise, he should nail it down. I mean, and should have been wrong hopefully. before. Hopefully. So. Hopefully. I have faith in Kane. Yeah. I'm going to go with Kane Velasquez. Second round TKO. Mm -hmm. Cain Velasquez. I don't know. Beat down. <laughs> You'll win. <laughs> it's a fan girl. Mark? Uh, Cain Velasquez. Second round TKO. All right. So next fight's up is probably the toughest matchup on this card for me to predict for. And it's the second fight on this card. And in my opinion, the best fight on this card. Jose, Jose Aldo versus Frankie the Answer Edgar. What do you think is going to win, Kelly? I want to go with Frankie. Are you being biased? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all Frankie fans. Yeah. We're all Frankie <laughs> fans. Uh, if you haven't noticed my videos, we're kind of all tiny people. Mm -hmm. Small stature. Yeah. So he gives us like that. <laughs> he, was the, he was one of the smaller guys to give other smaller guys hope to fight in the MMA world. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jose Aldo's pretty small. But Frankie was in the yeah. UFC. And Jose Aldo's bigger than Frankie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so as far as styles go, um, grappling? Who do you think's got the edge in grappling? I think that's a toss up right there. Uh, raw skill, no, raw power? Jose Aldo. Jose looks like he's a stronger yeah. guy. Technique? Frank Edgar. Ah, uh, well, for grappling? For grappling. It's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's kind of hard to say because they're both black routes in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. They both have different styles of grappling. For, Aldo's more of a defensive grappler where he tries to keep guys off from taking him down with his amazing... He has the best takedown defense in UFC right now. Mm -hmm. History, actually. No one takes that guy down. It's very hard to. Chad Mendes barely gets him down. Frankie barely got him down last time. <laughs> Frankie's more of a... He does a lot of mixed wrestling with, his, uh, with his striking and boxing. He likes to do a lot of fakes, ins and out. He uses his pace a lot to help with his wrestling, and he's improved big time on his ground and pound. But it doesn't make it, it doesn't make a difference if he can't get Jose down to the ground and actually work his ground and pound. So as far as that goes, I'm gonna give it a coin toss, or like it's basically a pickums as far as the grappling game goes. It's just a different styles, but they both combat each other really good. Where like it's a, it makes it an interesting fight. That's why this fight's so closely contested, in my opinion. So I think I'd give grappling to. Both, like, it's even for me, for grappling. What do you think I don't think grappling? it's going to be decided on the mats. You don't, don't think, think it's going to be yeah, decided on the mats? it's not going to be decided through grappling. Because I do think that Jose Aldo can hold off Frankie. I don't, I mean, I see Frankie taking him down, but I don't see the fight being decided through grappling. I see it being decided through striking. Mm. Right. So, who do you think has the edge in striking? Yeah. Um, Frankie. On paper, Jose Aldo. On paper, yeah. And if you're, if you're including kicks, right? Jose. Yes, yes. Jose Aldo. On paper. But just do gut feeling. I get the feeling. That oh, we're not done with prediction. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Styles Bad. first. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, on paper, yeah. Jose Aldo. But my gut feeling tells me that Frankie's going to get him on striking. You Better on so? striking. Yeah. He's gonna, I feel like he's just going to surprise people. I feel like it's, it, like it's his time striking-wise. I think he can win the rounds with striking. What about you, Kayla? Striking on. Yeah, you know, striking. <laughs> Come on, girl. So, <laughs> Come on, Ditsy fan girl. Let's see. How many strikes in total? Uh... See, as far as for me, what I think is striking, Aldo has the kicks, and he's got more natural power, natural knockout power. He has that on the Does edge. Does he think fast though? They're both fast. I think you can make an argument that Aldo might be faster. Because mm -hmm. he looked faster than him in the first fight. Remember in the first fight? Mm -hmm. As far as uh, explosion and speed and that twerk. Frankie has more body speed. He's more and methodical. More, footwork. more methodical and fluid with his punches. Yeah, you can give uh, an mm -hmm. argument for that because of his boxing technique. Mm -hmm. yeah. Edgar's got good kicks, but they're more like uh, timing kicks to help with his boxing and his wrestling. Mm -hmm. They're more so to give someone... It's a, a weapon to give someone to keep thinking about. You yeah. know, it's not so he doesn't he doesn't say one dimensional. Aldo, I'll give him the power and and the power in the kicks. But Frankie's got uh, excellent head movement, good boxing. He's got a nice left hook, you know, from that Chad Mendes fight. Now here's a good thing that you have to bring up 
in this fight is who has the better chin right now. I feel like that's going to be a big thing. I don't know. Because mm -hmm. we know Aldo got knocked out clean by McGregor. And he's always known for having a good chin even before that. You guys think his chin will be able to... I think his chin could hold up it because it wasn't like a beatdown with McGregor. But I think it will hold up. Just Edgar, we already know how his chin is. But could his chin ever give out considering the past wailings he's had? That is true. Him? He fought Chad Mendes in a war and he also was getting clipped a lot. Mm. Not just McGregor, with McGregor. He had... A, <laughs> that was a war with Mendes. Mm -hmm. And with Edgar, he's already been through wars up at the lightweight division against bigger men. And he's never been hit like that again against Green Manor. Mm -hmm. uh, he knows how to... He's what? felt power from the lightweights. I think... Uh, what do you think? Chin? Aldo? Edgar? Uh, I'll give the chin advantage to... Um... Oh, it's hard to say. I'm gonna give it to Edgar because he's he got the he got the nickname the Rocky of the UFC, right? Yeah, and however, was, how do you measure the chin by like getting hit or recovery time? Yeah, it, by how bad how how uh, good they fast can you can punch. how good you can take a punch or how much damage the chin's taken. Does that make sense? They both took in some damage, but I think as far I think Edgar's chin can hold up pretty good right now. I mean, okay. if you ask Considering me that, that he hasn't been knocked out like Jose Aldo has. No, he hasn't. Yeah. So you have that. And if you asked me four years ago if Edgar would be able to still have that same chin, I would have said you're crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. But then again, that brings up the question: Will he have that same chin if tested I think like he will. that again? Yeah. It's been, it's, it got tested against Aldo mm -hmm. in the last fight. He still held up. Well, so um, next thing, cardio, Edgar. Yeah, mm -hmm. Edgar. Edgar. For sure. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Aldo. I saw you gas out against that one bald guy. <laughs> <laughs> More comic. Yeah. That was years ago. But even then, he's been known to slow down, especially in the first fight. So now, explosive. here's why. Where I think the reason why I think Edgar is gonna. I'm gonna choose Edgar. I'm going to go on prediction time. What about yeah. Edgar? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you. What about you? I've been why Edgar? Day one. Day one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but she's she's loved his fights. I do. I always like whenever I'm watching him, I always vote for him anyway. You know, so on, I choose him. Yeah. yeah. On paper, he's it, really good. Jose Aldo should win on paper. But there's a gut feeling telling me that it's Frank Edgar's time. That everything's just gonna click in, and I feel like he's gonna. I think he's gonna get him. Yeah, I, I think, think he has yeah. better technique than. Um, <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, 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 let's see. If it, if Aldo comes in being the best that he can be, it's a war. Mm -hmm. It's a war. I mean, it's going to be a war regardless. But it, like, it either way, it should be a war. I'm expecting like a good fight. What I'm picturing is that second fight of BJ Penn versus Matt Hughes. Or Matt Hughes just straight outworks him and beats him. I think Edgar's card is going to really come into play here. That's especially what I'm saying. I feel like he's going to straight I'm going him. Edgar decision. Edgar fourth round TKO. Edgar decision. All right. <laughs> we'll, do the, we'll do the next one. Um, I'm trying to keep track of the fights. See, that was the toughest one because I feel like that we probably talked about that a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got Misha Tate versus Amanda Nunes. Ooh. I don't know who, who you got? Amanda Nunes. <laughs> 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 All right, I'll take this one. Uh, Amanda Nunes, uh, she's not the biggest name right now in the UFC, uh, but she is a really good fighter. She uh, has a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, a brown belt in Judo. She's very. She's gonna be pretty aggressive in the first couple rounds. Uh, she's got. I think, as far as uh, styles go, the ground game. I think it can be uh, a toss up because Misha Tate has always been known to be good at everything. Mm -hmm. She has good striking, good grappling, and good hard, good stamina. Uh, she doesn't have. Misha Tate doesn't only have great. She's not necessarily great or amazing at anything, but the fact that she's good at everything makes her a dangerous fighter. Amanda Nunes, good grappling. She's got some power, though. I'm going to give Amanda's the power edge because uh, Misha Tate isn't necessarily known for her knockout power, but I've seen not Nunes in her past fights, even before the UFC. She's knocked out a couple people because she's kind of aggressive with her striking. Now, with uh, Amanda, here's a huge weakness in her arsenal is that she's been known to gas 
in the later rounds, and this is her first five round fight. Yeah. So I think in the first couple rounds, it's gonna be a really good fight. But Misha is gonna be Misha, and she's gonna outwork her with her experience and with her gas tank. And I think we're gonna either see fifth round submission or a unanimous decision for Misha. I think she's gonna outwork her. But Amanda's is a very dangerous fighter, especially in the early going. We're gonna, that's gonna be a really good fight. But I think Misha's gonna t overtake her. I just know that Misha does a lot of squats, <laughs> and based on that, the more squats you do, you're just going to win. <laughs> Let's go, Misha. Uh, life advice is <laughs> more squats. <laughs> Booty is life. Don't skip leg day. <laughs> what about you? I, I'm going to go with Misha just because I... Squat uh, analogy? I don't know. Yeah. Squats. Yeah. All yeah. the way. <laughs> Amanda, I don't Nunes, know. Amanda Nunes is lesbian. Well, let's be honest. We are not gonna win. Huh? She's gonna win. <laughs> nah, it's a, it's a, it, it's a cute couple. She has with her girlfriend. It's really oh, okay. Nice. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Honestly, though, if I were like, like Nunes that. and yeah. I was a lesbian cool and I was fighting that. Misha Tate, I'd be like, how do I not want to kiss you? <laughs> Sorry. What? <laughs> anyway, yeah. so I'm going Misha Tate. You know, decision. Uh, no, fifth round submission. Fifth round submission. That's what I'm going with. All right, the next one. <laughs> All right, Brock Lesnar versus Mark Hunt, the sideshow of the evening. Mark who? Mark Hunt. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's a good question. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's zero faster. <laughs> that's low. Put the emphasis yeah. on the. Huh. All right, Mark. Who do you think's gonna win? Give us. Let's give some stylistic background. Uh, ground game. I'm saying. Uh, well, okay, we're, uh, ground game. Lesnar. You used to be an all American wrestler. <laughs> National champion. And is the human Hulk. So, <laughs> human you know, Hulk. He's basically the human Hulk. Never seen a guy he's move a around freak like that. Athlete. So I haven't seen I've never seen a guy move around like that. So Hunt has never been known for his ground game. But he his recently his take on defense has gotten really good. Uh, hopefully it can hold up against Lesnar, but I'm gonna give the ground game to Lesnar because he's grappled with guys who have better jiu jitsu better ground game than Hunt ever can dream of. Like Frank Mir, he like messed his face up real bad. He took Kane Velasquez down twice, even though Kane still beat him. But he, mm -hmm. the fact that he was able to take Kane down twice is a big feat in itself. Right, right. Uh, so for grappling, we're going with Brock Lesnar. It's pretty obvious with that. Uh, Hunt, for striking Hunt by a milestone. Yeah, I, I, I Lesnar has... Uh, that's yeah, just an strong. okay boxer. He has T-Rex arms. <laughs> T-Rex <laughs> arms. Just big arms, and he doesn't have the most fluidity of it with his boxing, but mm -hmm. he does have power. When he lands, he does have power. <laughs> it's hilarious but, when he strikes. Yeah. But with Hunt, it's he's the uh, the K-1 K one champion, man. Kickboxing. Oh, no, yeah, boxing. he can't beat He has that. so much power. He has one of the best technique. And so who do you think? Um. Don't just copy me. Wait, <laughs> the one, uh, the These Hulk. two guys. Who do you think is the one? Brock Lesnar. You got Brock Lesnar? Yeah. He looks mean. <laughs> he looks mean? <laughs> <laughs> we go with Mark Hunt. I think Lesnar's been out of it for too long, and I think... I don't think... I can't see him. I don't think he's gonna try to wrestle him or grapple him for some reason. You think so? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't see it happening. I just what? see Mark Hunt catching him. I what if Lesnar takes him down? Hmm? Yeah, what if Lesnar gets him down? That's, That's bad. A story, That's yeah. A, yeah. That's a bad story. That could happen. I don't think Brock is going to do the same thing he did to Overeem, another K1 fighter where he tried to strike with him and got KO'd. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But with Brock, here's the thing why I'm going to choose Mark. I'm going with Mark Hunt, TKO. It's been five, what, years since he's been in the cage? Mm -hmm. That's rust. Big time rust. I don't care who you are. Five years is too way too long, and we don't. How is his? How is he gonna do? How has he been with his disease yeah. that almost took his life? Yeah, diverticulitis. Oh, that was a long time ago. Better now. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hopefully. <laughs> and dude, straight up, Mark Lesnar and Mark Hunt. Mark Lesnar. <laughs> Brock Lesnar and Mark Hunt. They look like a before and after picture. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wow. what? Cause, uh, oh, that's true. Yeah. Cause, like, <laughs> some Mark's got these huge legs, though, man. He's got tree trunk for legs. Yeah. And what else about Lester? 
And I don't know if his chin will be able to hold up to Mark, but if he does get Mark Hunt down, then that's a different story. But Mark Hunt, I think his takedown defense will be good enough to mm-hmm. hit Lesnar, and I don't think Lesnar's cardio is going to hold up no, because he's been out for so long. Mm-hmm. If he gets out of the first round, I don't give it is to Lesnar. He, is, he, I don't even, is he known as a cardio person, Lesnar? Or not really? He was in maybe in his heyday before he right. got sick. Mm-hmm. If this were six years ago, I'm choosing Brock Lesnar. Oh, yeah, me too. I would go with Brock Lesnar because... He was like, uh, his cardio was good. He was known for his speed and strength. He was able to last longer, you know. So he's a fan of Brock Lesnar. Oh, if honestly. Brock was, you know, he, he was a good flash in the pan. He was fun. He was interesting. Yeah, he wasn't. He but, wasn't like a sideshow or anything like that either. It was like a James but, Tony coming to the end. No, the no, UFC. no. He was very he impressive. Was legit, very yeah. impressive. You know, mm-hmm. he achieved something really quick that fighters ever they dream of doing for mm-hmm. years. You know, he achieved that in like a couple fights by beating mm-hmm. Randy Couture. Mm-hmm. But this is a different story now. Mm-hmm. It's not six years ago. I don't think Brock can win. I'm going Mark Hunt. First round TKO. I agree. How old is Brock? Uh, it's got to be like 35 or something, I think. Let me see. How old is Brock? He's only got eight fights, man. That's crazy. 38. 38? Yep, 38. Oh, yeah, man. Damn old. Old guy. Damn but old, man. Hunt isn't the youngest either. 42, but he's oh, been fighting a lot longer, and he's still fighting, he's still active. So, Mark Hunt, first on TKO. Yeah, I see that happening. You? Brock, um... So you remember Brock Lesnar, you're choosing the underdog. Yeah, I think I'll go with the underdog, you know. Is it because he's buffer? Always have hope. <laughs> Always <laughs> have hope in the underdog. underdog. Alright, now we're to the main event of the evening. Daniel DC Cormier versus John Bones Jones for the Light Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> just real quick, uh, I just saw the uh, a UFC uh, uh, embedded video. You know, those, I don't know if you see those the embedded videos where they show like uh, behind the scenes. They, it showed uh, Cormier sneaking the chicken McNugget. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. he grabbed the chicken nugget and he ate it, and then his shit got pissed at him. <laughs> What? He's like, John, John, Dan, you just broke my heart by eating that nugget. That's your calorie you take for the day. And he's like, aw. N- <laughs> nugget life. Nugget life. And it's funny how Cormier likes to embrace that, the whole belly thing. Mm-hmm. It's funny. but All right, so we got two bitter rivals. Guys who look like they hate each other, I think. You know, oh, it doesn't look like you a show. Tell. Yeah. You can tell. So, okay. Wrestling, who do you uh, give the advantage to? John Jones. Yeah. Sorry. As far as, like... You know, we have to go by the facts on what we saw in that first fight. Jones out wrestled him and out grinded him, outlasted him in the grappling department. On uh, as far as pa- on paper goes, Cormier is supposed to have the better wrestling because he made it all the way to the Olympics. On paper, as he should have a better pedigree, but MMA wrestling, you gotta give it to John. Uh, as far as overall, but I'm gonna give it to John. Oh, barely though. But just like a little bit. We'll see. I mean, I think he's in another class. I don't think he's in another He didn't like completely like out wrestle or like wrestle fuck him. And like, <laughs> <laughs> Cormier got a slam. He got a couple takedowns. But I'm, I'm going to give it Jones just the edge. It's slight edge wrestling. Uh, as far as grappling goes, Jiu Jitsu. Jones. Yeah, I get to Jones. You freaking ninja. <laughs> he, he, he freaking went ninja on Machida. Yeah, he ninja Machida. He put him to sleep. Like, that guy looked like he died. Yeah, Machida looked like he died. Yeah, Assassin's Creed. Basically <laughs> it was. Yeah. yeah. Jones had... He- and also he has like long ass limbs. So like... And then again, like make it easier for Daniel Cormier. But he Cormier uses is not it, normally known for his jiu-jitsu. Yeah, he uses it... I mean, he tapped out Rumble Johnson, but that's because Anthony Rumble was pretty much dead tired. Mm-hmm. But Cormier, he has more submission. He has actually more submissions, like than other any other active light heavyweight. I think that's uh, I think that's true. I have to look that up, and make sure. But he tapped out Vitor Belfort, put Leota Machida to sleep. This is John. John Jones. Yes, this is John. Okay. And then DC. He's got great wrestling. He got ground and pound. But as far as grappling goes, I'm gonna give it to John Bones Jones. Mm-hmm. I think he edges out DC in that form. Uh, striking? John Jones. I mean, the only thing that Daniel Cormier has on him is knockout power. Everyone has knockout power on John Jones, though. Exactly. I mean, but... He doesn't need it. 
Yeah. He's got those John elbows. Jones has got variety, That's length, everything else. everything else. Box. I don't even know. He's a weird kind of boxing. Kickboxing. Spider monkey type of boxing. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the crazy kickboxing. Mm -hmm. He like he's very uh uh dynamic with his. Yeah, strength. very he dynamic. He likes doing those crazy oblique kicks. Yeah, very which dynamic. Are very painful. Mm -hmm. And he's got those crazy elbows. Jones uh, Cormier has like. He has like these Muay Thai kicks, but they're not the greatest. They're like supposed to distract you, so he can do he does his kickboxing. He's got good power. He he does a lot of lunging in boxing. He tries to like it's like he almost tries to, has to jump up at some light heavyweights to get him. Mm -hmm. And he goes down and he does his explosive uppercuts, and that's how he's able to. Uh, he was able to outbox Gustafson, which I thought was interesting because Gustafson gave Jones a really hard time in the striking so that shows like Styles makes fights because Gus has been had a long ass reach mm -hmm. that's the thing though is that Cormier doesn't have that reach advantage that John Jones has he can put out his hand and just go like this the Cormier yeah mm -hmm. it's a legal Stop by the way sorry mm -hmm. I think so I know, I know there's been controversy about that where I'm I think that? yeah you can't do this but you can do that no I think you can do this. It's like I know that this. fingers can't be forward, no? No, they can't be forward. Yeah, but they they gotta be like like. But that, the thing right? is, when they're like this, that's even risk. At for that folks. point, if there's like a huge gray area. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm gonna give the striking to John Jones, but not by much. You know, I noticed that John Jones is just he seems to be the better fighter, but not much. But he just has the, the more variety than mm. Cormier. I I don't know where Cormier exactly has the advantage, and then under the, other than. Power and he's got a pretty good clinch game with those uppercuts. He that was a big weapon in their first fight. He caught John Jones a lot. If he can get that clinch game on him, that mm -hmm. could be really effective and hopefully that can change the outcome of how this goes. Now, here's the thing on my prediction. I'm gonna go with John Jones unanimous decision. However, I have to question it because John Jones didn't look so much like he didn't look invincible against in his last fight against OSP, he looked like a little slower and his, he didn't look like he had the amazing cardio or strength in his previous fights. But then again, long layoff, uh, he had all this shit going on with his outside life, his life outside of fighting. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, with, hopefully he can overcome that. If, he, if John Jones comes in to be John Jones, I think he edges out Cormier. But Cormier does look like a better fighter than he was last time. He doesn't look like a new fighter. He didn't um, like adapt or evolve as a fighter, but he, everything he does looks a little more crisp, and he looks a little stronger. I think that will help out. And according to Cormier, he he has a huge advantage with Cain Velasquez in this camp this time because he didn't have him last time. Okay, we'll see how that hey. goes. Oh, hey. You never know. You know, it is a big thing to have Why good not? teammates. Right. He had he used um, Luke Rockhold as a as a partner for his last fight, which is big, but he's not Cain Velasquez. Right, and so having Cain Velasquez, right? Should help out yeah. a little, we'll see. Shouldn't do anything about that nugget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with uh, John Bo Jones by winner of United decision, Marcos. Same thing. All right. Did see fan girl? Bo Jones, I wanna say knockout second round. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna I poke. So no, that's no, it. No, no. <laughs> Fantar here. I'm done here with this prediction video. Finally got it out. And the dynamic duo <laughs> wanted to be in this video. Peace, you two.